Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I am going to be doing a love reading for Capricorn. Yes. We are going to be doing a love reading for good old Capricorn. Yep. It's definitely. Well, make it back. What is going on in the love lives of Capricorn, whether they be single or in a relationship. Hopefully you're not in a situation trip. Mm -mm. It does never work out good. So, Spirit, what do we need to know about Capricorn's love life? Show me Capricorn's love life. Okay. Keep an open mind, new love, getting to know each other. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, Capricorn. This is looking interesting. I'm willing to see more. Let's see. What is going on? What is going on with Capricorn and their love life? Show me Capricorn and their love life, please. Show me Capricorn and their love life. I did this recording, I have done your reading three times, and the video keeps messing up. If I have to do it another time after this, I am going to not do it tonight. Just not. Because that's, that's spirit telling me not to do this reading tonight. Because the video keeps messing up. Yep. Keep shutting off, doing weird stuff, acting like you can't do anything and then it won't upload the video and it's too long and blah 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 that one's supposed to be in there either buffalo and the bat so maybe your person has a bee name I don't know Oh yes, you are going to step into the energy of the fool. Oh, yep, yep. Transformations are happening, yes. Listen, Capricorn, your transformations are happening. And you're, they're gonna happen whether you want them to or not. Thank goodness that you aren't like my, um, Aquarius is they had a double tower moment in their reading like it was crazy show me Capricorn and their love life show me Capricorn and their love life show me Capricorn and their love life the ocean maybe you want to go near water Okay. What's it? I'm gonna go with the crone, the mentor, the mystic, and then we got the creator, the vision, the prayer, the riddle, and the offering. Listen. You're having dreams about the person that you are going to be with. You're having dreams about them. You're, you're praying for them. You're manifesting them. You are manifesting this person into your life right now. You're manifesting them. They're coming for you and only you. And they're, they're gonna offer themselves to you. You're gonna offer yourself to them. 
and the riddle is going to make sense. You're going to see the vision. The, the, fu the future with this person is going to be in your eyes. The dragonfly and the butterfly. All right. You're transforming. End of discussion. You are having a transformation and an epiphany. And you're, you're going to come out beautiful. This is you coming out on top. This is you shedding your shirt. Like, you, you realizing you're a zebra and you got stripes and you're beautiful. And you're, you're... It is just weird. Those that don't usually do that. All right, listen. You're a beautiful person. No matter what. No matter who. Don't matter. You're beautiful. You see things differently you're you're the fool and there are so many new beginnings happening for you just take a leap of faith and step out of your comfort zone this person you're manifesting them you are creating you are manifesting them you are creating them in your your awareness they may already exist in this world but you're pulling them into your life with your affirmations, your visions, your prayers, your your manifestations. You're creating this new world, this new environment, this new beginning. And it's meant for you. You are stepping into the emperor energy. You are becoming the assertive emperor. You are becoming the person that steps towards what they want instead of away from what they want. Instead of shying away from this person that's coming into your life, you're stepping towards them. You're pulling them towards you. And you don't even realize it. Unless you're consciously manifesting them. And if you're consciously manifesting them, whoop, whoop, go, go, go. You do you. You do you. Because this is a really, really good manifestation. This is your person coming in. This is your life, your dreams, your hopes, your goals, your future. This is your person. And don't overthink it. Just go with it. It's a vibe. You can do anything because you are the magician. Listen, I'm different. I'm different. I know I'm different. I know I'm different. You wouldn't be here if you wanted same old, same old. You wouldn't still be watching if you wanted sugar-coated bullshit. So listen, I'm going to tell you how I see it no matter what way I see it. A new romantic cycle begins. Adjustments. Adjustments are required and your hard work is paying off. So listen, this person, you come with your baggage, this person comes with their baggage. It's just what happens when you're healing. When you're healing, you are aware of the baggage that you hold. And this person is aware. You are aware. You are both aware of what is going on. You're pulling each other magnetically towards each other, like you're mirroring. You're you're causing. You're causing each other to be attracted to each other because you're both manifesting each other. It's 
It's that simple. You're good enough. You and your loved ones are safe. Yeah. It's, it's simple. You're manifesting each other. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful energy to be in. And I don't understand why you would essentially be running from it. But I don't see you running from it. I see you running towards it. That you feel safe. You feel like you're good enough. This person is there for you. No matter what. This person is there for you. You don't know it yet. And they don't know it. They might not even know it yet. Maybe you haven't even met. I don't know. Maybe you met recently. Maybe this is a new... Well, I mean, it did say new love, didn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, new love. It did say new love. What are you manifesting? Tree wisdom. Go outside. Hug a tree. I mean, <laughs> I hate to say it like that. Hug a tree. Go hug a tree. Trees have wisdom. They can impart on you. They also naturally lower stress when you sit below them. These cards do not want to come out. What the heck, spirit? What is going on with Capricorn in their love life? Please tell me. Protection and stargazing. So listen. Rejection is divine protection. If you were rejected previously, that was to protect you and your soul to be able to find the person that's coming in now that you're manifesting. Maybe you want to go out and look at the stars. It's okay. You are protected divinely and spiritually. You are are gifted you know that you're protected you know that you're divinely divinely protected i just saw 1221 on the time um you know that you're protected you know you know and you might meet this person at a gathering or an event or coming together like you might come together on some issue or topic um kind of like let your friends you know help you I don't know though I'm getting tired but I've had to do your reading three times this is not regular for me not regular regular no Share. Share your innermost thoughts with your person. They deserve to know how you feel. You deserve to know how they feel. Because this is a reciprocal energy, but it might not be known yet. Because <laughs> the star grazing, the tree wisdom, like, you might postpone it. This is not known yet. Definitely not known yet. Um, don't know what's postponing it, but it's there. Ooh, it's a past life connection, too. Because I don't. Past lives. Like. Okay, so I don't usually take reversals, but this card flew up upside down, which usually when fighting is upside down, it means that it is the end of a difficult cycle, which I believe we pulled the card an end of a difficult cycle earlier. You have silence and the master. So what it is, is in your silence, you are mastering yourself. You are mastering your gifts. You're mastering your talents. You're mastering your your. I'm not going to say that, Spirit. You're mastering your baiter. I'm a child. 
I'm 43 years old. I'm not a child. Stop it, Sorry. You're a master debater. Stop it. This is being immature, but here's maturity for you. This I can't do this with you right now, Spirit. You are killing me. You're killing me. You're killing me. You're, you're killing me. You're killing me right now, Spirit. I can't do this with you. All right. What do I need to know about Capricorns? Love life? Okay. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old oh, witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. I don't know why that's in my head right now. I kind of want to go watch a wizard of Oz. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Ooh, off with a head. Off with a head. Oh. The justice is coming and the comic release shall happen. This person and you are going to link up. Eventually. Eventually. Unless you step out of your comfort zone and you make the first move. Because... This person is your high priestess, your empress. This is your your person. And this is my card, which is kind of funny because this is Spacey Stacy. My card. That's who I am. Spacey Stacy. Um This is the end of a really difficult karmic cycle for you, and I'm actually I'm here for it. And I want to see more of why it was so difficult to end this cycle. Because it looks like it's a cycle where you were underappreciated and undervalued. And, and people just took you for granted. And well, while I don't like seeing that at all, because I don't, it freaking makes me sad for you. Um, Capricorn. It makes me sad for you to know that you are undervalued and underappreciated but there is an end to this toxic cycle that you are going through. There, It's ending. You are you're a karmic cycle breaker. Maybe in your blood, maybe in your family, maybe in your generation. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but I am calling the cards like I see them right now and you're breaking some really big generational curses that have been passed down through your bloodline from person to person. And you're, you're going for it. You are going to take this step out of your comfort zone. You are, yeah, yep, yep. You're gonna, you're gonna send that message. You're going to make that move. You're going to be the one that brings this to a different level of awareness. Um, did I say that the holidays could be important for you this year for some reason maybe this is when you're going to meet the person maybe this is when you're going to develop your relationship maybe this is when you're going to take your relationship to the next level attraction yeah. maybe the holidays are heart to heart conversations maybe the hol that's too freaking much I'd be better off going with it. All right. All right. Listen. 
This is why I tell you. Shush. The holidays. Enjoy the place of holiday time together. Very soon. Like, the holidays. You're going to, and it's safe for you to love. Listen, I don't make this stuff up. You are, how do you say it? You're on a path that will bring you so much joy and so many blessings and so many gifts. You're manifesting everything that you've ever desired right now in your love life, in your life in general, which is beautiful to see. And I'm here for it. I am here for it. I am here for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your energy with me right now. It's actually a beautiful thing. And I am happy to be here. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We all have trauma. We all have issues. We all have bonds that we need to strengthen, weaken, cut ties. We have people in our lives that don't serve purposes sometimes and we have to be our own magician and transform ourselves. That means letting go of the toxic people and welcoming beautiful, new, pure, loving, caring energy. This is a beautiful thing. This is what you're doing. You are calling in a major manifestation of love and abundance and peace and harmony and You're calling your person to you. And your person is calling you to them. It's a mirror effect. And it's so beautiful. This energy is amazing. Have an amazing night. I am going to try to do one more reading. And then I'm done. So you guys have a great night. And I will see you on the flip side. Peace.